Hi guys and welcome back. This is a follow-up video on the Nano Spray Machine K5. Previously, I've done a video comparison showing the older K5 that I purchased versus a newer one. Now in front of me, I have two units here. One I purchased for RM75 and another one I purchased it at RM55 which is just purchased a few days ago. Now externally, if you look at the packaging itself, there is slight difference. First up, is there's a logo on the more expensive version that I purchased. The logo actually states, best genuine quality. Now, the cheaper one does not say anything. At the side, um, Basically, everything the same, except that the Roche wording on the expensive one, the O it is in the lower case, which is correct. This one, the O is in upper case, is incorrect. Because Roche stands for restriction of hazardous substance. Now, if you look inside the box itself, what came with it is also different. Now, the manual and the cable are the same. We can ignore that, okay? So I'm not going to take this out anymore. But the plastic packaging and the protector is different. This one comes with a cheap, I think it's an LDP plastic bag. But this one comes with a more expensive CPE plastic which prevents scratches. But best of all, the difference between the two is the more expensive one comes with this protector. Now, what does this from protector do is, when it was shipped, it protect the tip. It's actually installed as such in the blocks to protect damages to the tip, which can easily crack. So the expensive one has that extra little foam inside. Now, on the spray gun itself, externally, I'm not going to mention about the differences in fronts, but generally, dimensionally, it looks similar. However, there's a stark differences in weight. The more expensive version that I purchased weighs 423 grams versus a cheaper one, which is weighing it at 378 grams. It is about 45 grams lighter so why is it lighter you'll see more about it later inside actually both units are really unscrewed so that we can actually see the inside of it clearly sorry about the, the noise from the clock yeah now i've already removed the washer this washer is actually located at the base let me remove the bottle first at the base where you tighten the bottle now, on a more expensive one, it's actually thinner at 1.5 mm and uh, surprisingly on the cheaper one, it's actually thicker at 2.1 mm. Well, the thickness may not matter much, but the profile of this washer is important. If you can see clearly, this is round, but this one has this particular two profile at top and bottom here. Now, this is important to prevent the unneeded or unwanted rotation when it's fitted inside especially during the tightening process because in some cases after you have installed this bubble may occur at the base of the bottle because the silicon washer may not be seated properly okay now let's dive inside and take a look what is the difference Let me move the camera closer so that you can see clearer. Now, why is it lighter? Is because on a cheaper version that I bought recently, it comes with a 370 type moto. On the more expensive version that I bought previously, it comes with a 528 type moto. 
Now this motor is much larger, hence it has the ability to pump larger volume of air. Hence, the overall performance of this spray gun actually is different. The older one actually sprays a lot further. You can feel it actually when you switch it on, the motor actually performs stronger, way stronger than this. Okay, the next differences internally is the battery. Both come with a single cell 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. But there's one big difference. Now, this one, the cheaper one, you can just see the bulge of the wiring. But the more expensive version, actually, if you take a closer look, there's a special bulge here. This is actually the protection circuit board. So, is this important? Absolutely, for fire safety. When you are charging this particular nano spray machine K5, you'll be using probably the rating as stated at the side here, DC 5 volts at 1 amp current. However, most modern chargers supply way above 1 ampere of current. It can be 1.5, 2 amperes or even more. And in some cases, they have this auto ID function whereby the voltage itself can go way above 5 volts. Without any form of protection circuitry, there's a possibility of overcharging the battery, hence leading to overheating and finally fire. That's why the more expensive version actually have a additional protection circuit board built in here. Okay, I'm pretty sure the PCB doesn't have the protection circuit board because I've run through it already. Okay, so with that, I hope that um, the viewers here get a better idea what are the differences between the better one or the more expensive one versus the cheaper ones. Basically, it can be detected by weight. But bear in mind, yeah, after this video has been shared out, I believe what happened to the case of power banks, example, a power bank here that I purchased, may occur in this nano spray machine K5. Because they know when they're using a smaller motor, it is lighter. In previous cases, the Chinese manufacturer simply put sand pack inside the device to simulate similar weight. But actually, it is still a smaller motor, but they can put sand back inside to make it weigh, weigh similar, probably 423 grams or etc. And to fool the consumers. Um, but this is just a word of caution yeah, uh, from my side, based on my past experience. Okay, um, I guess that's all for me for today. I hope this video helps you guys. Should you have any queries, so you just post a comment. Um, I'll look through it. Uh, if I can assist in any other ways or probably make another video to explain further, I may do that. Thanks for watching. And see you next time.